Oh, sorry, Arsenal. Uh, I, I think Automod uh, might have deleted your message. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, 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 I'll fix it. I, I know you weren't spamming. Sorry about that. I apologize. I'll get that fixed up. Let me actually see if I can untime you out in mod view. Hold on a sec. timed you out <laughs> okay we're good we're good we're good sorry about that i will uh have to fix that in stream elements all righty well good good to know good to know um i'm just about ready so i guess i'll get like switched over here although there's like no one here right now all righty there we go hello hello and welcome in welcome back um uh, my second stream of the day I, you know what? So you guys know that I'm sick right now, right? I think I know why I got sick. I think I got sick because I haven't been drinking very often. I haven't drank since in like two weeks, actually. And I think that's why I got sick because I don't have the alcohol in my bloodstream. And no, 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 it's not. I don't have COVID. I just have a cold. <laughs> I just have a cold. I'm fine. I don't have the alcohol in my bloodstream. And the alcohol is what kills the germs, right? The alcohol is what like gets rid of all of the nasties in your blood. And that's that's why I got sick because I wasn't drinking. I, sh I should have had some booze as soon as I thought I was getting sick. So that's what I have right now. I have my little vodka soda here, my vodka seltzer. Oh God, hello, welcome in. I'm telling you, bro, beef, hello. I'm telling you guys, this this vodka seltzer is going to make me feel so much better. It's going to kill all the germs and bacteria in my body. Because let me tell you guys a story. Let me tell you guys a story. So this was when me and my family, we've been to Mexico before. We went to Mexico several times. But the last time we were in Mexico, I felt like I was like coming down with something. Um, Like it was like the day before we were leaving, right? The day before we left. I felt like I was coming down with something. So like we were out to dinner and I ordered a uh, shot of tequila. And so I took that shot. The next day, I felt completely better. I felt like I was like nothing would happen in the first place. Because the night before, I was like, you know, I had to like my head was stuffed up. I was like sniffling. I felt like I was getting a cold, right? But I'm telling you guys, that shot of tequila I had completely just killed all the germs in my body and cleaned me out so that I was like better the next day. Like, te like I'm telling you guys, tequila is medicine. It It truly is. That's how it works. Exactly. That is how it works. Like, why do you think they put it in cough medicine? Because it works. Because don't they do that? Like, there's like, NyQuil has like a tiny, 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 itsy bitsy amount of alcohol in it. Yeah. But what I'm drinking right now is the negative uh, 196 from Suntory. It's basically the American version of Strong Zero. It's not as good. But it'll 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 do it'll be serviceable should have drank some chinese flower tea do you mean um chrysanthemum tea or are you talking about a different type of tea because i have chrysanthemum tea i actually drink chrysanthemum tea every night i love chrysanthemum tea it's like one of my favorites <clears throat> it's really nice i remember I, I had this friend when i was younger um she was chinese and i'd go over to her house a lot and her mom would always um make her drink like chrysanthemum tea and she hated it. She hated it. She would always be like, ew, it's so gross. And so like one day, like her mom offered me the tea. She's like, you know, do you want some? And I was like, sure, I'll try some. And I had it. And I was like, oh, this is really good. Can I have some more, please? <laughs> and then her mom started like ragging on her because she's like, oh, Alex likes the tea. Why can't you drink the tea? There's nothing wrong with this tea. If Alex likes it, why can't you drink it? <laughs> and then she got mad at me. <laughs> my friend did for for liking the tea and then her mom was mad at her <laughs> you missed the warframe stream oh no i i didn't stream yesterday because i was too sick sorry but i will play warframe 
next week. I I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I I do want to make up for it because that that SEO is really working for me. Let me tell you that that VOD, that Warframe VOD on YouTube is still getting views. <laughs> I don't know where these people come from, but it's like. It's so funny because they're all backseating me in the comments. They're like, um, actually, you need to be doing this. And oh, you need to be in your settings and you need to be doing this. And it's like, bro, are, did you not read the description that says don't backseat? Like, I get it's like a comment, but like, chill the fuck out, bro. What is your ethnicity? I'm white. I'm, I'm as white as they come. Yep. I'm as white as they come. Um, but I mean, you know what? I'll I'll stream more 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 Warframe for that SEO. You know, it's it's doing me good. It's it's giving me numbers. But I feel bad though, because like I'm getting a ton of followers, and I know they came for like just specifically for the Warframe content and like for nothing else. So I feel like I'm like partly like <laughs> disappointing them by not streaming Warframe like twenty four seven. But you know, that's that's life. That's just how it is. Yeah, post backseating. It's amazing. Yeah, Royal Beef, you subbed for TF2, but you stuck around. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So I'll 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 have to work on converting them to my regular streams, but you know, I did apparently um I did find out that trading between your accounts is not allowed. So I actually changed the name of my old account. I I I had a 20% off coupon for Plat. So it was only like $8. Yeah, it was like $8. So I changed my name to something very embarrassing that I will regret. <laughs> you, you'll see, you'll see, you'll, you'll all see next week. But um, yeah, I, I guess we should get started here. So today's presentation is going to be on the pescatarian diet. What is it? Who are the pescatarians? What do they want? Well, today we're going to find out together. So first of all, the etymology of the word pescatarian. So pescatarian, according to Wikipedia, is a neo neo neologis neologism, excuse me, formed as a portmanteau of the Italian word pesche for fish and the Ital the English word vegetarian. The term was coined in the United Kingdom in the late 1980s, which is interesting. I didn't realize the name officially came from the UK. Um Portmanteau, yes, exactly, exactly. How, how, port, how, port, how am I supposed to pronounce it? Portmanteau, what is it? <laughs> um, let's switch over here. So what exactly is a pescatarian? So pescatarians do not eat meat, but they eat fish instead. However, dairy products like cheese, milk, butter, eggs can be included. So some pescatarians will eat like you know, eggs, drink milk, whatever. Some people don't. It's really up to the individual. Um, I put examples of some of my favorite foods, fish and chips. I, you know, I don't really eat fish and chips that often, to be honest with you. I can't really eat fried food like I used to. Like I'll have like, if I order fish and chips, I'll have like a bite of it. And then I'll be like, Ooh, you know what? I'm full. I can't eat the rest of this. <laughs> It's too much for me, but I, I do, I do like fish and chips, uh, sushi, of course, which I love. And my favorite thing, a fish burger or a filet fish from McDonald's. I love fish burgers. I, it, they're really slept on. Fish burgers are super slept on. Like if you're at McDonald's or Burger King, try the fish burger. The fish burger at Burger King is actually really good as well. I would highly recommend that. But, you know, fish burger with the tartar sauce. I get no cheese. I don't like cheese on my fish uh, usually. Um, I love that stuff. Love that stuff. Um, also, like, similar to how I, I mentioned that um, cheese and milk can be included, um, meat-based pro meat pro well, meat products, but things like bone broth or, like, what's another example? Like, f let's say something that's fried in animal fat, that can also be included, but it depends on the person. <laughs> like, generally speaking, like, pescatarians aren't as, like, anal about these things as, like, vegetarians or, like, vegans. So it really, like... It really doesn't make a huge difference. Have I tried boba tea? Yeah, I, I like milk tea. I'm not a fan of boba, though. I'm really not a boba ball fan. I like I like the jelly, but not 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 the boba balls. There's there, I don't like the texture. It's it's yucky. It's yucky. So that's that's essentially what a pescatarian is. It's like you eat you eat fish, not meat. 
<laughs> if you give a vegan bone broth, they melt like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically. If, if you give a pescatarian bone broth, they'll be like, oh, okay, that's nice, and just move on. There is also, like, fish-based broth. Like, I think, isn't miso? No, miso... Is miso? No, it's not. Well, there, there is fish broth. I know that is a thing that exists. I'm not particularly fond of it, though, because I find the taste can be a little bit too fishy for my um my taste, but it, it does exist. It does exist. Um, I wanted to put more like pictures of food on here because there's like a lot but like the website I was using Irastoya they have this like rule where it's like oh yeah if you use more than like 20 of our images you have to pay a fine and I was like that's a little bit scary but also how exactly are they going to find out if I use more than 20 images so I just I, I played it safe just in case <laughs> I'm pretty sure people use more than like 20 images of these on a regular basis you're ratting no wait I don't e I didn't even use 20 I used less than 20 I counted I used like maybe eight total maybe eight that's that's what I did so let's see switch over so the, the history of pescatarianism is quite interesting because it starts from it's it's kind of interesting because it didn't come from one specific place, but it kind of appeared at different parts of the world at different times. So some people suspect that the Greek philosopher Pythagoras was the first pescatarian because he like ate fish sometimes. But um, I would say that the biggest like not community, but like the longest period of pescatarianism, well, not pescatarianism proper, like basically in Japan for about 1200 years, um, Japan was mostly like vegetarian pescatarian. It says like um, they ate vegetarian style meals with seafood on special occasions, which you could argue is pescatarianism. So that was for a very long time. Japan was essentially a pescatarian country. Which is very interesting because now it's like a meat country. Like everyone there eats meat all the time, every day. It's crazy. It's like they're trying to make up for like the 1200 years where they just had to eat fucking vegetables, you know? Because the emperor said they had to. <laughs> um, there's also like several orders of monks in medieval Europe that um, stopped eating meat for aesthetic reasons. Um, but they ate fish because they were chill with fish. Lots of actually different sects of like Christianity, um, like encourage like plant based. I mean, not plant based, uh, pescatarian diets. Um, and yes, if if you if you couldn't tell by like the subject of this presentation, I am pescatarian. Also, hello, Sertle, welcome in. I saw your stream. I hope you had a good time. I want to play Fortnite sometime. I I have been. Every time it comes up, I'm like, I'm not going to download the Epic Game Store on my computer. But like lately, I see everyone playing Fortnite and having fun. And I'm just like, oh, I'm getting FOMO. I should download Fortnite. <laughs> so maybe you guys should expect a Fortnite stream from me sometime. Um, but yeah, basically, a lot of like Christian monks have observed like pescatarian diets for, you know, quite a while all throughout history. Um... For, for various reasons, one of the most interesting ones that I think is, is the, um, the Manichaean belief that, quote, fish being born in and of the waters and without any sexual connection on the part of other fishes are free from the taint which pollutes all animals. Which is very interesting, and I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> But it sounds it sounds interesting. I, I I don't I don't really get it, but I kind of get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, let's see. The rule of Saint Benedict insisted upon total abstinence of meat from four footed animals, except in the cases of the sick. Maccab it says Manichaean. Manichaean, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Hello, Critzcast. Fish are holy right until they get it on? I guess so, yeah. I guess fish are fine until they have sex, in which case you can't eat the fish. <laughs> no hanky-panky for the fish. No, none at all. Um, but yeah, that's that's more or less the history of it. Like, it's it's been around for a very long time in different parts of the world, and for different reasons. We hate fish horse. <laughs> 
<laughs> we hate the fish whores. We hate them. <laughs> oh. So. Why I'm oh my god, I'm I'm blocking it. As you can see, a shrimp fried this rice. So why would anyone choose to be a pescatarian? So health reasons. Um pes a pescatarian diet is associated with lower risks of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Um, which, you know, as as we know, like sorry, sorry to break it to you guys, but eating eating incredibly high amounts of red meats is is very bad for you. <laughs> all things in moderation all things in moderation but you know when you got the lower risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer like it's it's probably something you should look into if that's something if that's something you're interested in oh Sertle! oh my goodness wait wait Sertle, how did you wait how you were in my stream and then you raided me wait were you still streaming <laughs> Okay, hello. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. My name is Alex Ozarashi. Uh, today, I'm giving a presentation on pescatarianism, which is basically like based vegetarianism because we eat fish. That's, that's how I describe pescatarianism. It's based vegetarianism because we eat fish. <laughs> How about chicken meat? Uh, pescatarians don't eat chicken. Oh, you're asking you know, in terms of like cardiovascular disease? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I don't think chicken meat, I don't think poultry is as bad for you as red meat is. But, you know, all things in moderation. Um, and I guess it depends on like the chicken, how it's cooked, how it's prepared as well. Also, Blaze, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Um, what else? Uh, environmental and animal welfare reasons. So this is what I find most interesting about pescatarianism because here's here's the thing like people are always saying like oh you can't eat this this fish is being overfished there's not a lot of like there's not a lot of like a fish that's available um how oh question uh how is the cost of this lifestyle compared to a non-specialized diet that is a very good question apothecary that is a very good question i would say that Pescatarianism can be expensive depending on where you are. Um, if you live in a landlocked area like the central central U.S. and you have like harder access, like it's more difficult to get access to fresh um, fish, it will probably be a little bit more difficult to get things because generally speaking, the pescatarian diet is made up of a fish, b you know, um, plant-based foods, lots of veggies, lots of fruit, nuts, um, legumes, um, carbs as well. Um, I am, I am, I do not eat a balanced diet personally. <laughs> I eat, my, my diet is mostly carb-based. I should be eating a lot more like leafy greens, um, more vegetables. If, if you're good, then you will know how to like balance, you know, your diet. But in terms of the cost, like I said, it does depend on where you live. Um, cause some places like fish is expensive. Some places fish is really cheap. So it really does depend, but I would say it probably is a little bit more expensive than like, say just going to the market and buying like, you know, I don't know, chicken breast. How many years have you been on it? I've been a pescatarian, like kind of on and off for most of my life, but I have been like strict about it for the past two years because basically my whole reason for being a pescatarian is because I, I just don't like meat. And I know that sounds crazy to people, but I just like, I, I just don't like it. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the texture of it. Like I never, I've never liked it. I know it's crazy. It's insane. I sound like an insane person. It's okay. Just, just take a moment. But it's, it's not like for me, it's not like an ethical thing. It's not like an environmental thing. I just, I just don't like it. And I just, I like fish because the texture of fish is con what's the word consistent it's not like some parts of the fish are like squishy and slimy and some parts are like thick and chewy and it's like consistent all the way through thank you for the protein by the way i needed my protein today i did not i neglected to have my protein today so thank you for that so that is what i love about fish is that is the the texture is consistent what is my favorite type of fish i love a good salmon I love a good salmon. I love salmon. I can't get enough of salmon. It's it's really good. Um, I do like mahi mahi as well. Mahi mahi is very good, although it's a little bit hard to get. I should do a fish tier list someday. That's a good idea. Do fish provide a lot of protein? They provide like a decent amount of protein. I feel like 
um it really depends on the fish like you would have to do research on it but i would say like in terms of red meat it's probably less but that's why you have to balance it out with leafy greens like spinach and you know things like that like vegetables that do have a lot of protein in it so it really is like about balancing the diet because I will say that like pescatarians, like if you are like me and you have an unbalanced diet, you can get anemia. So, you know, it, it happens. Alaskan pollock, the most milk toast fish in terms of taste. Yeah, pollock is kind of mid. Pollock is kind of mid. <clears throat> uh, yes, you do get a lot of omegas threes from fresh fish, though. A lot, a lot of omega threes. A lot of those. So that's that's another good thing. You have the urge to listen to Salmon Dance again? What is Salmon Dance? I'll have to look that up later. So I want to show you guys something really cool. For those of you who are interested in like, you know, the more... Eth I, I highly doubt there's anyone here who actually cares about anything like this, but I'll show you guys anyway. So this really fun website. Um, don't, don't worry about it, Critzcast. I'll, I'll look it up later. I, I don't put links in my chat, but I'll look it up later. I'll remember. So there's this website that you can use called the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch. My mom actually used this website a lot. Um, and if you are someone who is concerned with like overfishing and sustainable seafood, this is the website for you because they provide these little guides that are updated annually, or I don't know how regularly they're updated actually, but basically it gives you an idea of like what fish are good to eat and what fish you should avoid. So they have it for pretty much like everywhere in the U.S. I don't think they have it for anywhere outside of the U.S. Oh, they have a sushi guide? I didn't know that. Um, let's take a look at like the Northeast one, for example. Can you even eat lionfish? I don't know if you can eat those. So this guide is really cool. And this is the beauty about pescatarianism. Because it's like, if like, let's say right now, oh, the snow crab is being overfished. Just don't eat snow crab. Just, just don't eat it. Look at this. You have all of this stuff that you could eat. You have bass, you have clams, you have crabs, you have flounder, lionfish, mussels, oysters, salmon, scallops, swordfish, tilapa. That is such a wide variety of different types of fish that you can eat. That is such a crazy, crazy wide variety of like things you can eat, right? Because it's not like, oh, you have a chicken, you have a pig, you have a cow, you have a sheep, you have a goat, I guess, if you like to eat those. Like you, you don't have like the main four legged animals, right? You have all of these things that you can choose from because it's like it like it says avoid. Take a pass on these for now. Keyword hold on for for now you can't see it because the chat is covering up they're caught or farmed in ways that harm marine life or the environment so tuna bluefin tuna not really a good idea to have that right now because they're probably being overfished but instead you could have albacore or skipjack tuna same thing salmon from canada chile norway or scotland uh what do they have really really salmon oh but they have new zealand salmon Huh, that might be a little bit more expensive, though, if it's flown in from New Zealand. I don't know. I'm still going to eat salmon, though. <laughs> I'm still going to eat salmon, though. Scottish salmon is probably fine. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, lobster, really? Oh, is there a lobster shortage right now? Sharks. Well, sharks is always on there. Sharks is always on there. Um, you know, and it gives you alternatives as well. Uh, yeah, albacore has a lot of protein. Exactly. So it's like... Even if it like says like, okay, these fish are kind of like being overfished right now. You have all of these options to choose from. Oh, Atlantic salmon is okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There's also the Atlantic salmon as well. Like you have all of these options to choose from. And I think that's like one of the beauties about being pescatarian is it's like, ooh, what fish am I going to eat today? Am I going to have shrimp? Am I going to have tilapia? Am I going to have clams you know there's tons of choices there's tons of choices because it's like i remember there was one time when i was a kid where my mom i swear to god she made like chicken breast and rice three times a week i i was oh my god just eating the same thing like three times a week i felt like i was gonna go insane and also just i didn't like the chicken either <laughs> there was that too but that's that's one of the beauties about you know, eating fish. So is that like, even if like something is like, you know, being overfished right now, like you could just, just switch to something, just eat something else. Just, just eat something else. You have all this to choose from. It's like crazy. 
because it's like i feel like oh it says you can eat lionfish from the u.s wait we have lionfish here but i thought lionfish are poisonous and they'll kill you wait what u.s lionfish am i hold on i need to look this up right now invasive lionfish oh maybe that's why they tell you to eat them because they're an invasive species oh dear Oh, South, U.S. Southeast and Caribbean coastal waters. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they got stingers that'll poison you. Okay, so I guess we can eat them. Well, can you... Can you eat lionfish? That's like the first thing Can you when I type up, can you eat? Have I tried geoduck? Geoduck? I, I've eaten duck before. I will tell you guys, I make an exception for duck. I'm a pescatarian, but I make an exception for duck. Because duck is that good. Duck is that fucking good. I will make an exception for duck. Duck is... I, I love duck. Duck is so fucking good. Um, it's a type of clam. Oh, really? I did not know that. No, I have not had it. Um, I'm actually... I'm not a clam person, to be honest with you. Clams and oysters, I don't, I'm not crazy about those. I do like scallops, though. Scallops are very, very good. I love scallops. Highly recommend scallops if you've never had them before. Put a little, little salt and pepper on those bad boys. Oh, delicious. I love scallops. Um, once stripped of its venomous spines, cleaned and filleted like any other fish, the lionfish becomes delectable seafood fare. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to try that. Huh. What is a scallop? Um, I don't know how to describe a scallop. It's like, I, I, guess, I guess Google it. I don't know how to, how would I describe a scallop? They're like, the, 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 there's a shell and then on the inside, there's like a little round thing. The round thing inside is like the scallops. You can get hep C from raw oysters. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh man, oh, you're allergic to shellfish? Oh, that's too bad. I, I love shrimp. I, I do love shellfish. Um, yeah. Some of the scallops are made from the fins of sharks or stingrays. Oh, like fake scallops. I didn't know that. I didn't know there's fake scallops, but like scallops are not, well, they, they're kind of expensive. Scallops are expensive, actually. I will say that. <laughs> like that's, if you're, if you're on a budget, I wouldn't recommend scallops because scallops are pretty expensive. Actually, I almost bought a bag of frozen scallops because they were on scale. One thing that I think is interesting. Um, this is kind of related to what I'm talking about, but also kind of not related. So I was told by my friend who works in, as, in a kitchen that um, fresh seafood doesn't really technically exist here unless you catch it yourself. And what I mean by that is that um, I believe it's a law or regulation that says when you are serving fish like in a restaurant, the fish must be frozen for, I believe, a minimum of six hours to kill all the parasites. So when you're getting like fish from a restaurant, like it's not technically fresh unless you've like killed, like killed the fish yourself and gutted it and like, you know, done all that crap yourself. Like if, if you fished it yourself and you did it, then you could probably do that. But yes, it is flash frozen to kill bacteria. That is what I've been told. So if you, if you ask for fresh fish, it's not like technically going to be like all, all fish is frozen is basically what I'm trying to say. All fish is frozen, basically, unless you catch it yourself. Do I like fishing? I, I haven't been fishing in a long time, but I do, I have been fishing before and I do enjoy it. It is quite relaxing. I've only been lake fishing before. I've never been ocean fishing. I don't think I could do ocean fishing because I get seasick really easily. <laughs> I get seasick real bad. I step, I take one step on a boat and I'm just like, oh, I need to get off. <laughs> really, really bad. But um, yeah, I've, I've fished before. I've had fish that I've caught that my dad has caught and it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's very like, I don't know, fishing. There's just something that's nice about fishing. Just sitting out there on a boat, just chilling. And just like, oh, then you, you get the catch. You got to reel it in. It's like, ooh, then you get excited. It's interesting. I can understand why people like fishing. Um, let's see. Like I said before, um, a lot of Christian sects observe like the pescatarian diet. The biggest kind of like, I, I wouldn't say like, how do I say this? So basically, um, 
I, I was raised Catholic, right? And in, in Catholicism, we do this thing called Lent, where it's basically like we abstain from something for like, um, it, it's like a fast period until like Easter or something. And so one thing that a lot of Catholics do during that time is we do like, what is it? It's like no fish on Fridays or something like that. Oh, milk car. Thank you so much for becoming a big slappy. Thank you. Um, but basically like you guys know the filet -O fish from the McDonald's. So that sandwich from what I, this could just, this could be fake. I could be telling you fake news, but basically, um, the filet -O fish was created to cater specifically to Catholics who did not eat meat on Fridays due to Lent and it was a success and they kept it ever since. So let me, let me actually read to you what the Wikipedia article says, so I'm not just talking out of my ass here. In both the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox tradition, pescatarianism is referred to as a form of abstinence. During fast periods, Eastern Orthodox Christians often abstain from meat, dairy, eggs, and fish, but on holidays that occur on fast days, fish is allowed while meat and dairy remain forbidden. Um, Anthonian fasting has been considered a pescatarian-like variant of orthodox fasting as poultry and red meat are restricted throughout the year, but fish, eggs, oils, dairy, and wine are allowed on most days. I like how they allow for wine. <laughs> like, oh, you can't have poultry and red meat, but wine is okay. Wine is okay. I like that. I like that. Um, pescatarianism is also very popular among Seventh-day Adventists, which is something I didn't know. So it says, um, uh, there was a survey done that says 10% of North American Seventh-day Adventists who were surveyed reporting to a pescatarian diet, um, which is interesting. Um, you won't take wine away from a Catholic. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, you can't take our wine away from us. No, you can't, you can't. No, no, no. Uh, pescatarian uh, does also conform to kosher uh, dietary laws, but I would imagine that it's harder to be a pescatarianism if you're um if you're kosher because let's see aquatic mammals such as dolphins whales are not kosher nor are cartilag car cartilaginous fish such as sharks and rays um no shrimp crab or lobster or mollusks well oh but caviar has is okay Okay, okay, so it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Just no shellfish and no shark or whales, which, you know, you probably wouldn't have that much trouble, like, adhering to that, I suppose. Um, some Hindus also are pescatarians. They call it a lacto-vegetarian diet, um, which uh, Hinduism is quite popular in India, and there are some who consume fish. So, basically, fish don't have souls, Fish don't have souls, and therefore it is okay to eat them. You heard that here. Fish don't have souls, and it is okay to eat them. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's true. It's true. Like, don't get me wrong. I like fish. I've had pet fish before. But you look at a fish. You look deep into its eyes, and you tell me that that creature has a soul. The seal pope has deemed it so. The seal pope bangs her scepter on the ground and deems it so. They also don't have tear glands, so they don't cry. Really? Is the implication that sharks and shrimp have souls? I mean, I don't think shrimp have souls. I don't think shrimp have souls. Sharks, the jury is still out. The jury is still out on sharks. I have eaten a shark, but I, I cannot tell you if they have souls or not. <laughs> A lot of people want to differ, but I also agree, right? Exactly, exactly. It's kind of true. It is, it is. Um, hold on, I gotta clear my nose real fast. Oh my goodness, uh, Churokun, hello. Thank you so much for the follow, thank you. Let's see, but, um, yeah, those are, those are probably, like, the main reasons as to why someone would choose to be a pescatarian. Um, and then there's me, who just, just plain doesn't like meat. I guess you could put that on there as well. So, there are concerns and risks with being a pescatarian. The most notable of those being mercury and microplastics. Yay! <laughs> oh, so mercury, certain types of fish, 
have higher mercury in them than others. Um, the main, I believe it's tuna. Tuna is pretty high in mercury content. Um, which, I mean, just don't eat tuna then, forehead. Like, uh, BW Shiro, thank you so much for the follow. Like, you would have to eat a lot. You would have to probably eat it like every, like, I, I wouldn't, I don't like tuna, to be honest with you. Tuna is like one of the few fishes that I don't really like. Um, fish with high, let's see what the fish is with high mercury. I know tuna is up there. Um, fish that contain high levels of mercury include shark, ray, swordfish, barramundi, gemfish, orange ruffy, ling, and southern bluefin tuna. Dolphins are the highest? No? I know dolphins are pretty up there, though, but you really don't have to worry about that here. Um, ooh, excuse me. Freshwater fish generally have less microplastics and mercury. Yeah, yeah, I think that's also true. Uh, hold on. I think orange ruhi is common in grocery stores. Really? I haven't, I haven't seen it. I don't really, I mean, I don't really look for that kind of fish. But, um... Yeah, bluefin, tuna, and swordfish. Pretty, pretty high levels of mercury in there. Um, as for low mercury fish, um, we have anchovies, catfish, clams, crabs, flounder, haddock, herring, mackerel, North Atlantic, um, pollock, salmon, sardines, scallops, shrimp, squid, tilapia, trout, whitefish. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of options if you're worried about mercury. Um, that being said, they don't usually recommend a pescatarian diet for anyone that who is like pregnant or wanting to become pregnant. So if you are in any of those categories, I would maybe suggest like not doing a pescatarian diet just because of like, you know, you just being just to be extra careful, right? Just to be extra careful. Um, fish that are near the top of the food chain equals more mercury. Really? I suppose that's a way to think about it. Yeah, because swordfish are pretty, they're pretty up there. Yeah, because shrimp and salmon, they're pretty, they're pretty down there. Okay. Um, overfishing, which I kind of covered earlier. Like, if you, there's a fish that's being overfished, just eat a different type of fish. Like, oh, the Chilean sea bass is being overfished. Okay, then eat Alaskan cod instead. Like, duh <laughs> you know like just to eat a different type of fish on cod on cod for real for real is cod here oh i hope they're here on cod for real for real pepper jack hello welcome in um as i said earlier it can be expensive depending on where you live that also kind of ties into the geographic availability thing um you know, if you're living closer to like the the coast or a river, a stream, any source of fresh water, basically, um, you're probably going to have an easier time finding fish than if you, you know, were living in Arizona or New Mexico or somewhere where you're basically landlocked to a fucking desert and everything has to be like flown in. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with eating like, you know, fish that's been frozen for a couple days and been flown in, but I would imagine it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive. I'm Chilean. Where do I get those Alaskan cods? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, man. Um, rip, I guess. Rip. <laughs> I don't know if they even fly them out there. They'd probably be more expensive for you then. Oh, dear. Do you like too fast? Do you mean fast as in like, um, like, like religious fasting um I, I i don't do that i am i am not a faster i need to eat every three hours or i will have like a literal meltdown <laughs> basically i i remember i had to like wait like on thanksgiving i basically almost had a meltdown because i was like i had lunch and then we didn't eat until like six o'clock so i was like I was like five hours of like not eating anything and I literally like had a fucking meltdown because I, I kept sneaking into the kitchen to eat bread <laughs> and then my aunt caught me and she got really mad at me <laughs> and so then I went to my room and I started crying because I was so hungry. <laughs> I know people who fast just cuz yeah I wish I could do that I, I I can't do that yeah unfortunately um 
I would say I'm probably like the worst example of a pescatarian because I don't like, I don't eat a balanced diet. I don't like legumes. And that is like the one thing you should probably eat if you want protein um, is like beans and stuff. And I just, I don't like beans. I really don't like beans. I will make an exception for edamame, but generally speaking, I, I don't like beans. I just think they're gross and the texture, not even peanuts. I like peanut butter. But I, I don't like to eat nuts. I am not I am not a nut person either. I, I I'm just I'm not a nut or bean person. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the two things that are like healthy for you, like my mom is a nut person. She'll eat nuts. She eats nuts like every day. Um, I just I I don't I don't like the taste and I don't like the texture. What kind of beans? I don't like like the only kind of beans I'll eat is like edamame which is basically just soybeans but like black beans pinto beans um regular beans i don't even like um red bean anzu to be honest with you i don't even i don't even like um japanese like red beans i'm a soy seal i literally am a soy seal though i i, I am i am a soy seal <laughs> white beans red beans i don't like them i i don't like them i don't like either of those nope not not for me not for me coffee beans yeah i'll i'll have I'll, i mean you don't eat coffee beans but like i'll i'll have a cup of joe i'll have a strong cup of joe <laughs> what about jelly beans oh my god dude i haven't had jelly beans in so long actually that's not true i had jelly beans last year that is a long time though now that i think about it um but i should i was thinking about doing that about going to the candy store and getting some candy what about lentils I hate lentils. I don't like lentils. I don't like lentils either. Like I are chickpeas lentils. I'm pretty sure they are. I can't stand chickpeas. And like every time I look for like um like I'll I'll look up like vegetarian recipes. Like, oh, here's how to make a vegetarian, like whatever, whatever. And then I'll look at it and they'll be like, step one, grind up some chickpeas. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Gross not even hummus i don't like hummus no i'm i'm actually a pretty picky eater which is why this like diet kind of works for me because it's basically like oh i can just eat the things that i want to eat and not the things that i don't like to eat i do like spinach though i need to start eating more spinach i need to start eating salads again too but there's only like a specific type of salad that i like and most types of salads i don't like so i i need to work on that um yeah yeah basically um so uh, let's uh, let me let me read you some more like some more little tidbits from wikipedia so it could sound more like i'm educating you um let's see a common reason adopt a common reason for adoption of pescatarianism may be health related as fish and plant food consumption is part of the mediterranean diet which is associated with low risk of cardiovascular disease uh, pescatarian diets are under preliminary research for their potential to affect diabetes long-term weight gain and all cause morality mortality all cause mortality what does what does all all cause mortality mean does does that mean just death? Are are they saying that if you become a pescatarian, you can like become immortal? Is that what they're saying? Because that's that sounds like what they're saying. <laughs> if you become a pescatarian, you too can achieve the secrets of immortality. <laughs> oh. You want to eat the egg? It does look like a very nice egg. I would like to eat it as well. I should have I should have made myself an egg for lunch. Um Let's see. Apparently, um, Rastafarians can also be pescatarian as well, which is something I didn't expect. Um, the Rastafari are generally associated with avid vegetarianism and veganism. Um, and a large minority of adherents do deem certain kinds of fish to be an acceptable exception in that diet. Do you see? See what I'm saying? everyone agrees like okay like even even people who like eat, like even everyone agrees fish don't have souls fish don't have souls exactly exactly <laughs> which brings me to my is this my last slide i did not prepare that many slides i gotta be real with you so are pescatarians better 
than vegetarians and vegans. Shots fired. Shots fucking fired. I'm firing the shots right now from, from my house. Right now, I'm firing these fucking shots out of a fucking shotgun. And the answer may surprise you. Yes. <laughs> I just realized there's no music. Perhaps I should have prepared some background music. Oh, well, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. And I will give you the reasons for this. So I, I, I'll be real with you. I don't have, I personally don't. Oh my God, that would have been so good to have a vine boom sound effect. God, if I had a fucking vine boom sound effect, that would have been perfect. God damn it. I, I'm too lazy to set up that. Just imagine. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Are pescatarians better than vegetarians and vegans? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the best I could do. I could just do it with my mouth. This is the best I could do. And okay, so let me get back to what I was saying before. For those of you in the chat who are I don't have anything against vegans and vegetarians. I personally do not have anything personal against vegans and vegetarians. But y'all can be annoying sometimes. I gotta be real with you. Y'all can be fucking annoying sometimes. And you know it. <laughs> like, because the thing about pescatarians is that we just, we don't give a fuck. We're not going to go around trying to convert you or like force you to be a certain way or tell you like, oh, if you don't eat this way, you're going to die. You're going to go to hell. Meat is murder. Eating. We're, we're not like that. We're not like that. Like we don't, we don't go around like, you know, fucking showing people shock videos of like, you know, animal farms or shit like that, or just like, we, we just, it's fine. We don't care. We just like, leave us alone. Like it's, it's cool. You want to have some fish? That's cool. That's cool. That's, that's totally chill. You don't want to eat fish. All right. That's fine. Like, yeah, that's, that's chill. So that is, that is the number one reason. Number two reason is, like I said, fish are based. Fish are very based animals and eating you, you are what you eat. So if you eat a based animal, you become based. <laughs> Here's a video of a pig being catapulted into the sun. Still think eating pork is okay? Yeah, eat a burger and have a glass of milk with it. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. You know, just, just eat it. It's totally fine. So fish, in conclusion, fish are based and so are pescatarians. Will I become based if I eat you? Um, probably not. You'll probably get some kind of disease. Um, yeah, I would. I would not recommend doing that. You'd probably get some kind of disease. <laughs> go, go watch. Uh, I, there's VTubers who've done deep dives on cannibalism. Go watch the deep dive, the VTuber deep dives on cannibalism. That'll tell you all you need to know. <laughs> and like the nice thing is that it's also easier to be a pescatarian than it is to be like a vegan or vegetarian. Because it's like most places you go to is like, oh, you go to a restaurant and it's like, okay, they'll usually, usually have at least one like fish or like non-meat item on the menu, right? And it's like, it's fine. Like I, like I'm fine with like soup that's like, oh, this broth is like pork based sauce like okay that's fine it's a pork sauce it's a bone broth i'm I'm cool with that like that's 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 like a fine with me you know because i i will say like sometimes you change the recipe of things and it'll get like all weird and fucked up um yeah let's see if there's any more oh interesting so according to the fda one serving of fish is about four ounces so it doesn't specifically say how much protein is in there can pescatarians eat dragon oh crits cast over here asking the real questions i mean if we're if we're speaking scientifically i would classify a dragon as a type of lizard however can you eat you can eat i have eaten snake before i have eat <laughs> Fuck you, Chris Cast. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> How could you do this to me on my stream? You deez nuts me on my fucking stream about pescatarianism. <laughs> Royal B.
beef. Don't encourage them. Don't encourage the broiled beef. Thank you for giving me a sub to Crit's cast. Thank you. But don't encourage them. God damn it. I have been shamed in my own stream. I have been embarrassed. I have been laid low by the one and only Crit's cast in my own stream. How could this happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. I need a drink more. See, I told you guys, I'm drinking and I don't even feel sick anymore. I don't even feel sick. Thank you for the head pat, Pepper Jack. I don't even feel sick because I'm drinking and the alcohol is clearing the sickness from my veins because that's how it works. Um oh yeah by the way um there are several types of shellfish poisoning where toxins not destroyed by cooking can result in neurological gastro gastrointestinal or respiratory systems symptoms just letting you guys know um but you know it's it's fine it's it's fine <laughs> um Eating oysters, mussels, or scallops from safe harvest areas that are regularly monitored and tested um, and trustworthy suppliers. So, you know, it should be fine. It should be fine. I will say that I sometimes I feel like, um, sorry, I just needed to wipe my nose again. Sometimes I feel like seafood does have like slightly more risks to it than like meats. But I don't know if that's like true or not. Because it's like with meat, you still have like, oh, you could still get salmonella. And with chicken, you have like whatever, like mad chicken disease. I don't know. What disease can you get from eating uncooked chicken? Um, like they both have their risks, right? Exactly. They both have their risks. So it's really like, it's really, it's really up to you. Um <clears throat> Let me let me read to you. This is an article from Forbes. The pescatarian diet can be a nutritious and tasty way to get your health in check. If you're interested in trying the pescatarian diet, talk to your doctor or registered dietitian to work out the pros and cons for your particular health history. Ah. Uh. You know how they have those commercials where the person is talking really fast? They're like, if you have one or more of these symptoms, please call 1-800-366-422-422 and speak to a lawyer immediately. Do you think they record that like all in one take? Or do you think the person is like speaking normal speed and they just like speed it up really fast? I, I've always wondered that. I, I, I want to ask like a voice actor that like in those commercials where they speak really fast, do they speed it up or do they just get a guy who can speak really fast? It's the latter. Wait, so it it's sped up or the guy or the guy is speaking fast? They speed it up. Oh. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, okay. But that would mean they would have to get someone with like a really deep voice so that when they speed it up, it doesn't sound like this. You know what I'm saying? Like they'd have to get someone who naturally speaks like this so that when they speed it up, it sounds like like normal, right? <laughs> That's what I imagine anyway. They got to fit it within the ad time. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was watching the news with my mom uh, for some godforsaken reason last night. And all of the commercials, I mean all of them, were commercials for medication or some kind of medical device. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Literally every single commercial was just like medication, 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 eye drops, medication, 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 CPAP device. It was so wild. We were just like, who is like, yeah, because only old people watch TV. Most likely, most likely. You're right. Let me look at the seafood watch for um, the Southwest, Arizona and New Mexico. Let's take a look at that. Um, let's see what that's all about. So you can have, so it's basically the same, like avoid these things. These are all the things you can eat. Yeah, it's more or less the same. Huh, okay. What about... Let's check the one for Hawaii. Let's see what's going on in Hawaii. Skipjack tuna, Arctic char, bass, crab, squid, lionfish, mussels. Okay, they just have the Hawaiian names for things in there. The green jobfish. What is the green jobfish? 
Why does it sound like the green goblin? What is the green job fish? I'm going to look that up. What is the green What is the green job fish? Does he have a job? Is his job being green? Is that his job? It, 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 he's he's kind of he's kind of green. He 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 do be looking kind of green though. Let me show you guys. He do be looking kind of green. How come this guy isn't an Animal Crossing, bro? Why isn't he an Animal Crossing? That sure is a fish. It's, oh, they're, they're kind of big. That's kind of a big fish. Oh, no, he's holding it towards the camera, so it seems bigger. But, oh, no, that's, that's, that's a pretty decent-sized fish. Yeah, that's a pretty decent-sized fish. <laughs> How much do you want to bet that this is his, like, Tinder photo? <laughs> Supposedly, in almost all ways, salmon is better than steak anyway, other than protein, calories, or fat. I would, I mean, I don't like steak to begin with, so I would agree with that. Just, just on principle. He do be, he do be having a job, though. His job is being green. That's why they call him the green job fish. That's his job. Interesting, interesting. What what other kinds of fish? Let's see. I want to look at the uh, you know what I want to look at. I want to look at the sushi, the sushi guy. What do they have for sushi? Let's see. What's what's good on sushi right now? Um, blue tilefish, abalone, um, albacore tuna, shrimp, um, yellowtail. I do like yellowtail. Scallops, nice. Um. I don't see salmon on here. Oh, eel is bad. I had eel sushi last week. I had salmon sushi last week. Um, I had crab sushi last week. I don't know where it was from, though. Um, did I have squid? No, I didn't have squid. Salmon's good. Yeah. Uh, oh, but it says salmon from New Zealand is fine. Why is New Zealand okay? Is it because no one down there is eating the salmon? I didn't even know they had salmon in New Zealand. Well, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. Hmm. Bass. I've never had bass sushi before. Interesting. Sea urchin. I'm not... How do you guys feel about sea urchin? I'm not crazy about sea urchin because I'm just like... The texture is just like... Is, is a little bit weird for me. It's a little... It's too like... So, I just it it just it doesn't look like I would like the texture because I have like pretty bad textural sensitivity when it comes to um things that are chewy and or slimy. And uni looks a little bit slimy. It looks a little bit slimy. Maybe because I've never seen like good one, but it just like because I've heard it's actually more on the creamy side. But I why does it say seaweed farmed as opposed to just like going into the ocean and getting some like seaweed yourself? Huh. You know, this would be an interesting mechanic to add to Dave the Diver, actually. If they had like a rotating list of like, oh, like these fishes you shouldn't fish and these fishes you should fish. That, someone should mod Dave the Diver to have that because that would make the game like like another interesting mechanic to add onto like more interesting mechanics. Damn, this is making me want to play Dave the Diver now. <laughs> I've had octopus sushi, but never seen urchin on a menu. I do not like octopus sushi, to be honest with you. It's too chewy. Like I like calamari, right? But octopus sushi, it's too like, you know, it's, it's, it's too chewy. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like the chewiness. It's, it's kind of yucky. Yeah. Uh, is that my last slide? Yeah, it is my last slide. Okay, I don't really... It's chewy, but also, like, super fishy. Yeah, yeah. Like, it definitely has to be prepared in a certain way for me to like it. Have I tried... Oh, you mean, like, you mean, like, the... No, 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 Crits cast. I would not... I, 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 I wouldn't eat it. Like, even, even though it's, like, sushi, it's, it's still chicken, and also, like, the idea of eating raw chicken... 
I, yeah, no, no, not for me, not for me. It does exist. I've seen people eat it before, but I, I could not eat it. I don't care like how clean that chicken is. I'm not eating it. What seafood dishes do you recommend that are not sushi? Um, I talked about like a fish sandwich before. I like just like a fish filleted with like, you know, some rice or some spinach or some vegetables on the side. Um, you know what I had today for dinner? I had a um, shrimp tikka masala that the Indian place where I live makes. I know like shrimp um, is like... Uh, like not typically in like Indian food, but it's it's so good. The way they make it is so good. A fish finger buddy. Oh, a butty? A butty? I have not. No. I have not. I that sounds like something I would enjoy though. That sounds like something I would enjoy. A fish finger sandwich is what we would call it. I would I would eat that. Yeah. That sounds like something I would eat. Ooh, maybe I should try that. Interesting. I, I love I love that you guys call it a buddy. Buddy? Can I get a buddy? <laughs> oh. That looks that looks good though. Cause that's basically like a like imagine like a fish katsu sandwich. That's basically oh that looks that's basically like the filet of fish. Do I eat the bones? I don't like the bones, no. I mean if they're like so small that like it's kind of unavoidable, then yes. If they're like small and really soft, then it's like I, I, I can't really like do anything about it. Then it's like, yeah. Um, but if it's like big enough for me to pick it out, like you get like fresh like salmon, you know, it's with the like it it's like still got the bones in it, then like sometimes yeah, I will have to pick them out. But I I, I don't like the bones. I prefer to eat them without the bones. <laughs> Fish don't have fingers that you know of that you know of i haven't had fish sticks in forever though i haven't had fish sticks in a long time i should i should get some because like i was i was like thinking like oh man it would be nice to have something like protein wise that i could just like snack on but i i keep forgetting that they're a thing that exists for some bizarre reason Ooh. Like put it in a, oh yeah, like with the sandwich. Because the only thing about like the fish finger sandwich is that it sounds like it's kind of a lot of carbs because the fish itself is fried and breaded and then you put that in between bread. But then again, I do like a yakisoba sandwich and that's just carbs on carbs. So who am I to judge? Who, who am I to judge? Really, really. But yeah, what, what other kinds of fish based food do i like sev hello welcome in um yeah i i do like pasta with shrimp in it like like shrimp based pasta that's pretty good um i mean because like that's like the beauty of like i that's what i love about shrimp is shrimp is super versatile you can throw them in a pasta you can throw them in a soup could fry them you could like just salt and pepper saute them like there's a lot you can do with shrimp. Shrimp are very versatile. It's what I like about them. Um, I would say like salmon is like, I feel like tuna is more versatile than salmon, honestly. Tuna, you could do a lot with tuna. Like there's like tuna sandwich, tuna onigiri, tuna, like whatever. Although I, I don't like tuna. I Tuna, don't like the taste, don't like the smell, don't like the texture. Um, a shrimp chowder. That sounds interesting. Because I do like, ooh, that's another thing I like. I had a really good clam chowder last night. You know what I was thinking about? There's a, there's a tragedy. So, like, everyone knows the best clam chowder you can get is from the East Coast. Um, New England, New England. The best clam chowder you can get is the New England. However, the best bread bowls that you can get are the Boudin bread bowls, which are only available in San Francisco. So how are you going to get the San Francisco bread bowl and the New England clam chowder together when they're from opposite sides of the country? Oh, it is a tragedy. It's a tragedy that these things are never going to like meet together in perfect harmony. <laughs> truly, truly a tragedy. Does the shrimp need to be fresh water or can it be very funny, Crits cast? You're not going to get me a second time. You're not going to get me a second time. You're not going to get me a second time with that shit. <laughs> I'm on to you now. I'm on to you. Um, <coughs> I don't really know. 
fresh water are i don't i don't really know to be honest with you i just like buy shrimp i don't really pay attention about where it's like from or anything like that i just like go to the store i see shrimp and i'm like okay this is shrimp i'm gonna i'm gonna get like a little bit of i, I go to the fish counter and i say hello can i have some shrimp and they're like okay how much shrimp do you want and i'm like I don't know, like a handful of shrimp. How much is that? <laughs> I, I don't say that. I don't say that. I, I try to like a quarter pound of shrimp. That's like a handful of shrimp, right? I don't know. If if I'm using a recipe, then I kind of just go off what the recipe says. Like, can I get like seven shrimp? Can I get like eight shrimp? Can can I get like, I, I don't know. I'm too embarrassed to ask them for a handful of shrimp, even though that would be like the perfect amount for me. Just Just give me, just give me a handful of shrimp like like your hand size not my hands well unless unless the person's hands are really big then i would probably say like my my hand size you know oh and they have market price yeah i i i don't i don't i don't even like bother if something is market price i'm just like oh it's market price yeah i'll get something else <laughs> oh oh what's this like the the mahi mahi is market price that's okay i i wanted salmon anyway it's fine <laughs> baby shrimp baby shrimp is good in salads yeah, market prices we'd rather not say. And then, then you like it. Then on when you do ask, and then they tell you like how exorbitant the price is. You have to like stand there and be like, "Huh? Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's interesting." Uh. So anyway, I think I'm going to get some uh, shrimp instead. How does that sound? <laughs> you know, you have to like change the subject and like not be awkward about it. Hey, you want crab legs? I'll be thirty four dollars. They'll be thirty four dollars. Oh you know what i actually I'm, I'm really in like a um i'm in a salmon mood today you think we could uh do that instead a little little bit of salmon for me a little bit a little bit of salmon you know <laughs> that'd be fine that'd be cool oh man but oh my god i i just opened up twitch and i almost had a whiplash because there's this like woman who's on my screen right now and i thought she was gabby fucking hannah <laughs> I was like, wait, Gabby Hanna is a Twitch streamer now? What the hell? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. I wouldn't put it past her. She needs that money. Have you tried dried fishes? I have not, to be honest with you. I would like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with like dried fishes, to be honest with you. I see it and I'm like, what am I, what do I do with this? What, 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 what do I, what do I do with this? Am I just supposed to like, just put it on something? <laughs> Worked at a meat and seafood counter for five years. We would 100% rather you'd say no thanks than order it and ditch the package in the fridge down the aisle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, do people do that? Wait, seriously? Do people actually do that? They, they get it and then they just like leave the package somewhere else because they don't want to pay for it? All the time? That's so fucked up. Bro, that's so fucked up. You're wasting like... Okay, maybe no one was going to buy it anyway, but that's still, like, someone has to clean that up. It's going to sit there, and it's going to, like, rot. Usually you eat it on potato chips or on rice. Oh, like, on rice? I can understand that, like, putting it on rice. I know I've had, um, uh, furikake before, which is kind, it's like dried fish, kind of. Like, I've had it on rice before, and that's pretty good. Oh, man. Who do you think? Okay, let's, let's, let's play pretend for a moment. We're going to pretend that like for some reason or whatever, a bunch of like beauty YouTubers have decided to become Twitch streamers. Who do you think is like, so like, what would, what would, I don't even know what I'd do if I woke up one day and James Charles was playing Bloodborne. I think I might have like, I don't know. I think I might just assume that I've like Mandela affected myself into another universe and that I'm in the super fucked up universe now. <laughs> Gonna have a conniption. <laughs> He's not even playing it correctly. He's like, hey sisters, it's me, James Charles. Today we're playing Bloodborne. Ooh, this game looks so fun. I can't wait to try it. And then he gets his ass handed to him by the first enemy. <laughs> omg slay queen oh my god look at this girl what is her name the doll oh my god she's so cute look at her dress oh my god <laughs> oh god i'm gonna give someone cancer if i keep talking like this oh my god google how to retract a gift sub <laughs> oh boy 
Can you can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh my god. That would be such a fun cease. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> God, what a, what a world that would be. That would be a fun idea for a stream is to like go over some kind of like, I mean, no one here knows or cares about like beauty YouTuber drama, but I still think it would be like a fun idea to tell you guys about the shenanigans that like people would get into because like some of the stuff is like really mid that like no one would really care about, but other times the stuff is like, shit, you can't do that. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> i've heard it of james charles god that he's oh boy he needs to get his ducks in order you know what i'm saying he needs to get his shit in order because he's like gotten canceled like four times now and each time it's like it's like kind of like worse and worse every time but it's also like kind of funny like i swear to god he's gotten like canceled for like talking to minors at least three times and i think two of those times was he was getting like um catfished too which is really funny uh I, I think it's about time i start am i a huge makeup person i actually so i used to work in the beauty industry i worked for a large beauty brand for like for like a while um, I used to be really into makeup and stuff, but now not really so much anymore. Um, I, I used to be. So I was kind of like in the thick of it in like 2016 when all that shit was going down. But not not anymore. Not anymore. Doesn't really interest me anymore. <laughs> you got jump scared by James Charles. Oh, my God. That's that's quite unfortunate. <laughs> that's, that's quite unfortunate. Oh, no. What a what a what a way to go. God, okay. I think I'm going to start winding down the stream now. So let me tell you guys what's going on tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be really exciting. So tomorrow, I am going to be doing a Team Fortress 2 collab with Meredith Save Him. Um, I believe we're both going to be streaming our POVs, but um, it should be lots of fun. It is going to be on the server. So if you are in the Discord, feel free to join in. I, I would like as many people as possible to join us on our adventures. Um, so if you're in the Discord server, feel free to pop in like during the time. It's going to be a little bit later. It's going to be at um, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Oh, Critscast. Thank you so much for the follow. So uh, yeah, feel free to join in. That'll be fun. I believe it's her first time playing uh, TF2. So it should be, oh, I have so much to show her. I'm thinking we could also like um, show her some custom maps as well. Like the ones that we played on last time. Okay, I, I know we have to do Saxon Hail. Uh, I'm gonna show her like some of the regular game modes. Um, then like maybe a couple like crazy maps as well. That should be fun, okay. Yeah, let me see if there's someone online we can raid. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Oh, I know. I okay. Listen, listen. Okay, okay. On a scale of one to ten, how sick of you guys are pal of uh, pal world? How sick of you guys are of pal world? Because everyone that I want to raid into is playing pal world right now. Seven. <laughs> Okay. 10? Okay. Zero? Haven't watched it. 3,003? Three? Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, okay. I, I guess I, 10? Okay. Okay. Let me, let me take a look around here. Uh, if there's anyone else. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll just call it here for tonight then. Um, because I, I would like to get to bed since it is getting pretty late and I should probably get my rest here. Um, I like to see more when it gets this just me. It's, it's fine, it's fine. All right. But before I go, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're from. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye bye.